April 12th is fast approaching. That is the deadline taxpayers have to pay that second installment of their 2020-2021 property taxes before they face a 10% penalty plus a $10 fee. So joining us now to talk more about this is the San Diego County Treasurer Tax Collector, Dan McAllister. Dan, it's been a while. Good to see you. How are you? It's been a while. Thank you very much for the time here, uh, letting people know all over San Diego County that taxes are due. They get a couple of extra days, though, this year because the 10th, which is the normal payment day, falls on a weekend day. So whatever the weekend day amounts to, uh, and the next business day is when the taxes are actually due. So that means next Monday they are due. So tell me the different ways that people can pay their property taxes. Well, the best and the most efficient way right now, particularly because so many offices are still still not there, um, is to pay online. It's a free service. It's called eCheck. Uh, anybody can step up and pay through sdttc.com sdttc.com it's online it's a free service and that is the best way to pay uh, people though who insist on uh, paying the old traditional way through the mails need to get a uh, postmark uh, by midnight on the 12th which is next monday just four days away what percentage of property owners do we know have already paid well, 73% have paid the second installment, and that's a little bit misleading only because we expect the large lenders to come through their uh, banks and lending institutions with large chunks of payment uh, toward the very end, like tomorrow or Monday. Mm. Uh, that seems to be a fairly consistent uh, pattern. Um, but 73% have paid so far. It means we have some distance to go between now and midnight on Monday. Our expectation is that $7.27 billion over both installments, which is up from $6.9 billion last year, is the number to look at. Are there any opportunities to delay payment if somebody is having a difficult time, say, because of COVID-19? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, there is still one program left, which is a, a, a penalty cancellation request process. And uh, anyone uh, with a, a homeowner, a uh, small business owner uh, may be able to qualify for the pen penalty cancellation due to COVID-19. And basically to do it, they have to file the payment. They have to send us the payment, a good reason why uh, COVID-19 impacted their inability to pay on time uh, and uh, other documentation that uh, would go along with that. And they can once again go on line uh, sdttc.com and find out the details the last day though for those documents to be submitted according to the, the what the decision of the governor was was may 6th so that's coming up quickly within a month dan one last quick question if somebody can't pay the full amount does it help them if they pay some at all it would be nice if we could but we don't take partial payments and uh, I must tell you, too, after the scare of last year, we weren't sure where things would go. But at the end of the fiscal year, our office ended up uh, collecting 98.6% of all taxes due. We think we're tracking in that direction now. A lot of people do wait to the last moment. We would encourage people to pay uh, if they can and pay online now. And if they are going to need to ask for the penalty cancellation, get those requests in, and they can do that online as well. All right, Dan McAllister joining us. Uh, Monday's the day, the last day. Dan, good to see you. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much.